Hello everybody, welcome back to the We Got You Free Run Modeling Series and in this part we uh, are going to add the reference images into 3D Max and set up our scene. So first of all, when you open 3D Max, you can use any version you want and just go on the unit setups I usually model using millimeters, but today I'm gonna be using millimeters. And after said that, you can open up uh, the scene and start by making a new layer. Call it blueprints. And uh, this is where we're gonna add all the blueprints. So go to the perspective view here and make a plane, whatever size. Right click on the perspective on the plus sign here, go to configure viewports and and check selection brackets. That's F4. And uh, for for the sizes, we need. Let's start by checking the real size of the car. And I think this is about. 400, uh, 4,462. So let's just say, uh, okay, let's just say 4,500 for now. And I will show you what we should do. And right click on this to center it. So let's create a box with the real sizes of the car. And uh, this is going to be the real size we saw before 4,462. Set that as a length. And the width is 1998. And the height is 1,159. 1,159 Okay, and center to the object. Go right click this to center it. You don't need to do for the last one, just leave it like that. No. And we want to put the background images on this plane, so open up the maps. Set this to. Top view, click here and then select the bitmap. Add mine on library, picture, car design, we got the very one, and top view. Let's add it on that one and click that button to show the map on the viewport. And let's rotate the plane. Uh, select angle snap for a or the 90 degree to the front here. And let's move it up. Move it up like to 3000.
and hold shift and rotate it to make a copy for the left view. Let's rename this one first. Top view. And this one gonna be left view. Move it on the back here. And let's make another copy. And center it on the X axis. And move it. This one should be the back view. Let's make the last one, turn it 180 degree, and let's go down on front, so what we want to do also is move all these guys down to the same level so from the Z let's check uh, let's move it halfway or to just make all that easy let's just center it hold down zero and do start moving okay this guy let's move it down and we'll shade it with maps today. So let's let's make a layer. Just drag it to these four these three ones. Call this one left view and select it to Like this guy apply it there. Let's rotate 90 degree. And let's make him two sided so that we can see from both sides. This one is top view, and right now you can see about both you're facing this way over here and backward over here. What I want to have is when I press the F front button, I will have the front view facing that way. So let's go with this guy 180. No, that's not the one I wanted to rotate the top view. So let's rotate to 180. And for this one, let's make it front view. And select the texture. Let's change the one first. Back view. 
then we go select the mouth up here, apply it, and put it in the wrong area. Let's let's enter this guy now and as you can see already we have almost everything centered. Already so I will see what we should do to improve this. We can try bring these guys on the center here. And this guy is entered to the minus 10. So I'm press F button. So now let's hide this guy. Okay, pressing F will bring the Dark button, but the bad side, but it's okay. You can always go and change the customize user interface. And let's say font view of say V. And let's look for front view. Okay. Let's go to views and look for back. Let's look for back view. Back view and let's put that one to the left. And uh, let's go to the front because our front view will now become our back view. So let's set that one as well. Uh, front view and let's say the K for example. And if you want, you can save that. And let's save our scene and uh, let's save this one on a new folder. Call it that the iron D001. Uh, and let's try to make everything matched up. Well, and let's unhide the box we had before. And out X to see through. And we can already see that the size do not match here. Let's check it on the front view as well. So it looks like the dimensions look a little uh, a little small. The top view as well. So let's just try to match up the box. And Well, we should try to match up the reference images. So let's scale this one down. Press R. Okay, it kind of matches there, and you can move it.
so that the front of the car is on the where the line is and you see on the back it's not good though let's go to the left view press R and move it Uh, let's just prioritize the front here so try to move the front of this line here to touch that box line over there and let's go to the front view Pressing S, select the front plane, R, and try to match it this way. Even though it doesn't look bad. One millimeter difference, but this should work fine for now. the back view so this one is the back view let's hide it and this one should be the front view So for now, let's just hide this guy, try to remove object properties, and check that, and check the back face color. Alright, oh, let's delete this guy, and we can move freeze, and then move to the default layer where we can to start the model. Let's check all the view again. And back view. Everything looks good so and uh, we'll end the video here and on the next part we are going to start modeling. Thanks for watching and see you next time.